Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and there's also an Amazon store. And if you like this uh, video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell and likes, comments, and questions are always welcomed. Okay, let's get going. Sleeves. Gosh, I don't usually wear them, but I have them. Okay, let's play. I'm going to use current. No, I'm not. I'm using cranberry. Cranberry. Pinata. Let's write that down. I'm using the Blanco Blanco. That side doesn't write. Blanco Blanco. Just going to put one Blanco down. And then I'm going to be using probably either uh, sepia or sap green acrylic inks. Hadn't decided. We'll get there when we get there, right? All right. So here we go. And let me get my Tim Holtz blower. My goodness, where'd it go? Don't ask me. I've got extra, so I'm gonna grab one of them. So I've got friends that are wanting to paint. And so I've got about six of these now. So I'm actually happy. That's sad, but I am happy. All right, Tim Holtz Blower. You can get this on Amazon. You can get it kind of anywhere that sells alcohol inks. It's really cool. I like it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put down the Blanco. Then I'm going to put a drop of the um, alcohol ink. Now, start off with a drop of each so you can get used to the amount that it puts out and how far it travels. Okay, let me think. Let's do a bigger flower. Do we want to go that way? No, I always go this way. I don't know why I, I study that. All right, here's a drop and a drop. See how they start mixing a little bit? Now what that white does is make this color a little more thicker and it makes it more opaque. I'll call ink itself is pretty transparent. And there, it's dried. That's how fast it goes. This is really fun to do and there's so much you can do with it. I'm going to keep putting in the same spot as I work around my flower. And I'm blowing just a little bit. I don't want to go too much farther than what that is. So I kind of hang back on how much I blow it. Now, if you want it to do something a little different, you can go side to side on it, but now that one's a little wonky, but you know what? Don't worry about it because we're going to put another one in and we can overlap it. So don't let those little things, and it adds character, but don't let them bother you. And like that, I don't like it. So we'll just do something else. We don't have to do or settle. So let's put something on top of it. Now, I'm not blowing it around at this point. I'm just getting it dried. And when these overlap, that is where the magic happens.
And I'm coming at this angle just to kind of push it back a little bit. You don't want to completely straighten out because you don't want a line that's across the petal like that. So kind of coming at it with an angle if you're wanting it to stop and you don't want to take it any farther. And don't forget, if you need to move your paper, spin your paper around. Because I am struggling on that angle, so I'm going to turn mine. And that didn't get it far enough. You know what? Keep going over it until you like it. Okay. And don't worry about all these edges. Flowers are not exact. Okay, so I think I want to do like a little one here. Maybe a bud and a I want to do a bud over here. So let's do that. Okay. I'm going to barely do this one because I kind of want it to just be bud-like. And just get it dry. All right. Now, I'm going to do a flower, a little bit smaller one over here. Because my petal, my stems are going to do this. Let's see. I'm just kind of blowing this around, giving it some dimension. Because I'm going to do maybe one more, but I don't want a big show. But remember, you don't always get what you want. Not with this. Okay, that's what I'm going to be happy with. Okay, so I do think I want to do, Paul, uh, go ahead and do a green. And I'm going to get my spatula out because I may do some leaves. I think I will. Okay. And... Alright, I have like two liners and I never can find them. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is... When you're using the acrylic inks, you don't want to put them on a plain white paper towel. You want to put it on something that's more plasticky so it won't soak in. You're just wasting your product. And I don't have water. 
water, so I'm going to take some drinking water and pour some in here. There we go. I know I want this one to do that. So this one, put over that, and then that. Yeah, I may make that an extra one, so I'm gonna let it do this. There we go. This is the Princeton. It's a art spatula. You can use it. You can use a catalyst. I don't know if mine's at. Um, a lot of things you can use. You can use a business card if you need to. Um, I started out doing that before I decided I did want one of these. Okay, I'm not going to keep going back over that. I'm not thrilled with it, but it's it's going to be pretty. Kind of let them do what they're going to do, because believe it or not, you're gonna you're gonna like them. I say that. I don't like that one. Okay. Let me do this. All right, well, I'm not loving it, but um, I'm going to live with it. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think if I went over it a number of times, I might mess it up. And, it, and look what I'm doing. Good grief. I want that smooth right there. There we go. Now I'm happier. Okay, let's do some squigglies. Okay, this, I've got a whole set of them. Um, they're stylus. They come with different size ends. I need some more ink. that dot on a stem. You don't want it just sticking out by itself.
Now the airbrush I'm using is my, oh gosh, Masters. It's a model TC320. Absolutely love this. It's got the dial. You can adjust your PSIs. Mine's on about 30. It's got your two holders here and a moisture catcher. So if you enjoy doing this at all, using an airbrush, oh my goodness, this is, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's best thing, best thing I did. Okay. Am I wanting to do anything else? Good grief. I do want this stem to come up into my flower. Oh, I do. I want to do like a thing that catches the bug. Oh my goodness, cat! All right, my cat just ran across my serger and pulled. <laughs> I'm dying here. My thread <clears throat> off my serger. If anybody knows anything about a serger, there's four of them. Oh my goodness. wonder why he like bolted out of here, the little goofy thing. And it wasn't Henry, it was Rascal. You know, Henry wouldn't do something like that. Good grief. I'm so aggravated. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do some more of these. I mean, it is going out of the room. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> You're feeling my pain, aren't you? Okay, so this is... So my paper that I'm using is Kirkland Glossy Photo Paper from Costco. I love playing too much to spend money on the expensive stuff. So the reason I'm using the back side is because it's plastic and the ink and alcohol and everything just rides on top of it it's not soaking in so it's not uh, you don't want to use watercolor paper whatever you're using the alcohol inks on needs to be somewhat waterproof basically I mean I've done wood but I have put a layer of epoxy on it and then I've done stuff on it but Kirkland photo paper here is there's a picture of it that's the one I use which has got the tulip on it but it's the glossy inkjet photo paper Okay, let me think what I want to do here. I know I want to splatter, because you know I do. That's my thing. All right, I'm going to water this down just a little bit. Get me another handle. And I'm only kind of doing the green along with the green. I'm not putting it over the red. Why, I do not know. It's just a thing. But there we go. Now, y'all know I'm all about cards, right? So, this, you could make... Hold on. Let me go get this. This is a 9x4. And look at that. Look how cute that is. Even if you came over and did something like that. So you could get a good one right there. This is a four by six. Look at that, cute. You could do something like that. I mean, there's so much you can do. That's cute. So yeah, anytime you do a picture and you're thinking, well, is it frameable? Maybe, maybe not. If it's not, cut it up into cards. 
And the way I do my cards, and I've got videos on making cards on the measurements. Start with your envelope and make your measurements from there on your cards. It's a little easier that way. So this is a, geez, nine by six. You fold it and then you've got your um, like four and a half by six. And then you would just take your picture see like this glue it on there and there's your card it's that simple people love getting cards I'm telling you they love it okay I think that's done for that one all right thanks for joining me and y'all go have fun